Namaste my wolves and welcome to another Dragonville video and today we are going to be ringing in the second event of 2023, the Thawesome Spring. We're going to be going over all the dragons and their breeding hints. Let's get into it. And as always, everything that we will be discussing today can be found on this Google Doc right here, which is in our Discord server. So if you haven't done so already, join us on the Discord server where we have tons of information and I also share tips during every event. Let's get right into the store and see which dragons we have for this event. And a little tip slash warning, this is one of the more challenging events, so do plan ahead when you are breeding. You will see once we start getting into some of these breeding hints. First off, we have the budding ice section. First and foremost, we have these spring chests, which allow you to get the rose, shell, ivy leaf, and wooden idol decorations, which will be used for your evolutions during this event. There are four evolutions. And whenever you open up a chest, you get a chance at getting one new decoration of one of these four that you don't have in the park. You can also earn these through mini games and other ways. So I would try to hold off until the very end to do your evolutions. For the monolith dragons, we're going to skip all the rest of them and do, just do this one. It's just like the snowflake dragons. What you will need to do is breed any two dragons with the monolith traits. For the Holo, you will need to breed the conifer and soot dragon. For the ovalith, you will need to breed the bloom and panlon dragons. For the pearlescent dragon, this one's a little bit challenging. You will need to breed a rift prism dragon with the light trait with a rift starwing dragon with the dark trait. For the Gildamin dragon, you will need to breed the lacewing and starwing dragon. For the Dittoglide dragon, you will need to bring the duskwing and lacewing dragon. For the Violetta dragon, you will need to breed Dittoglide and Foe. For the Circuit dragon, you will need to breed Busby and Rhino Torch. For the Trilobite dragon, you will need to breed Foe and Rhino Torch. For the Foe dragon, you will need to breed Glowing and Swallowtail. For the Bisbee dragon, you will need to breed Lacewing and Marble Tail. For the Rhino Torch, you will need to breed Marble Tail and Swallowtail. For Morpho, you will need to breed Dittoglide and Gildemane. For the Yolkwing, you will need to breed a Rift Dragon with a Rift Dragon that has the Fire trait. And just like the Pearlescence, the two Rift Dragons have to be bred inside the Rift. For the Whopper Dragon, you will need to breed Bilby with Cocoholo. For the Peony Dragon, you will need to breed Bloom with Sakura. For the Snooze Dragon, you will need to breed the Dream Dragon with the Fog. For the Luck Dragon, you will need to breed Clover with Misfortune. For the Red Beer Dragon, you will need to breed Celtic with any dragon that has the hidden traits. For the triple rainbow, just like the surprise dragon, all you have to do is breed any two dragons with a total of four elements. And last but not least, for the budding ice section, for the Narciss dragon, you will need to breed Ouroboros with a dragon that has the dark and metal traits. Going into the next section, we have the Flash Freeze. For the Duskwing, you will need to breed the Chrysalis and Lacewing. For the Chrysalis, you will need to breed the Duskwing and Swallowtail. For the Starwing, you will need to breed the Glowing with any dragon that has the chrysalis trait. For the lace wing, you will need to breed dusk wing and marble tail. For glow wing, you will need to breed star wing with any dragon that has a chrysalis trait. For the swallow tail, you will need to breed chrysalis and marble tail. For the marble tail, you will need to breed lace wing and swallow tail. For the rosebud, you will need to breed the rose with any dragon that has the earth trait. For bilby, you will need to breed cotton and plains. For berry, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of fire, water, and light. For the glyph, dragon you will have to evolve your monolith four and you must have all 10 different wooden idol decorations in your park for the clairvoyant dragon you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of cold light and dark for the woodvine dragon you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of plant earth and air for the hetera dragon you will need to evolve your monolith three dragon and you must have all 10 different ivy leaf decorations in your park for the croaky you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of plant fire earth and air for the florea dragon you will need to breed rosebud bud with wood vine. For the Fushi, you will need to breed the flower hop with any dragon that has a plant trait. And last but not least, for the flash freeze section, for the glass wing, you will need to breed the daydream dragon with any dragon that has the light and dark traits. And moving on to the next section, we have the sunray section. For Sakura, you will need to breed flower and tree. For the stone shell dragon, you will need to breed monolith three with quake. For the plateau dragon, you will need to breed monolith five with moss. For the tulip dragon, you will need to breed monolith six with flower. For cumulus, you will need to breed monolith two with rain. For tansy, you will want to breed monolith four with cactus. For Kumba patch, you need to breed any dragon with the monolith trait with the cactus. So you could potentially go for tansy and cumber patch if you select monolith four. For pond, you will need monolith one and lichen. For flower hop, you will need any two dragons with the combinations of earth, air, and light. For Misfortune, you will need to breed a treasure trait dragon with 
an apocalypse trait dragon and this breeding must start between 7 p.m to 7 a.m so your nighttime section for the pixie dragon you will need to evolve a monolith six dragon and you must have all 10 different rose decorations in your park for the Sumi Dragon, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of plant, fire, earth, and air. For the Swift Grace Dragon, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of lightning, light, and dark. For the Minchi Dragon, you will need to evolve a Stone Shell Dragon, and you must have all 10 different shell decorations in your park. For the Pookie Dragon, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of fire, water, and light. For the Panlon Dragon, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of fire, earth, water, and air. For the Bloom Dragon, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of plant, cold, and lightning. For the Arc Rider, you will need to breed Florea and Walper. For the Qua Dragon, you will need to breed Crocky and Woodbine. For Fae, you will need to breed Glasswing and Snooze. And last but not least, to finish off the Sunray section, for the Nyam, you will need to breed any two dragons with the combinations of plant, earth, air, and light. And last but not least, we have the lily section, and this section is very easy compared to the rest of them because you can only purchase these or breed them through the co-op cave. So, for the dapple thorn, you can purchase this for 9,900 eggs or breed it with someone in the co-op cave. For the ichigo, you can purchase this for 10,000 eggs or breed it with somebody in the co-op cave. And last but not least, for the ancestor dragon, you can purchase it for 10,200 eggs or breed it with somebody in the co-op cave. And now that we're done with all the dragons, let's take a look at this last section of the store and see what extra little things they have to offer. They have a lot of these blocks, so if you're missing blocks, blocks are very useful for your island. Hidden themes will also be very key to get as there are only 1,200 eggs in the store versus this, the gems that you have to spend outside. So it looks like I'll have to be purchasing that last block so I can finish that. We have some nice paths as well see what else we have monolith reward habitats are okay chrysalis habitats are good too let's see what else we have a few island themes and then we have the lost island which i'm surprised i don't have i thought i did i have the lost expanded island so i wonder if i get this one if it'll give me another one we'll have to see you in a future video and last but not least, if you're a medium to high level player, I would say try to get those harmonious habitats. They're very useful. 1,500 dragon cash max is pretty good for all those types of traits. And then also the gemstone reward habitat. These are very important. And whenever you can, just try to max out on those as much as you can. Because it looks like I have two more spaces and I will definitely be getting those. More spaces to put gem dragons, more gems you get to earn per week in your park. So, and there we have my friends. Thank you for tuning in to this in-depth guide on how to breed all the dragons for the Thawesome Spring event. I hope this video helps and I wish you good luck in getting most, if not all, the dragons for this event. If you haven't done so already, join us on the Discord server, which I will link in the description below, where we share breeding hints, talk after the stream, have a bunch of Google Docs with tons of information, share our friend ideas to breed with as many dragons as possible, and just overall share that positivity and good vibes. Twitch link is also below, where we stream meditation gaming every day of the week. And as always, it has been a pleasure I will see you in the next video. Namaste.